Today we're going to put a countertop on and we're going to install counterbalance brackets. One T-bar bracket for over here with 12 inch overhang and three counter plate counterbalances over here for a 12 inch overhang. I spaced my brackets out and now there's different ways you can cut it out. Uh, I have experience so I'm going to use the multi-tool. After I made the cutout, I traced my bracket and now it's time to cut it. After we cut it, we're going to test fit it. It fits, we're going to put a level on it. After you put a level on it, you can adjust your cut. You want to test it again. And as you can see, it's level, and all we have to do is fasten it together. You want to make sure that the piece is level with the surface that you're putting your countertop on. I'm putting a pilot hole for the screws. They're a little larger. They're a little harder to go through the wood. Once you have all three screws in, your counterbalance is installed and it's ready for a counter. All three counterbalances are installed and now it's ready for the granite countertop. After the countertop's on, we're going to lift it up and we're going to put a little silicone on the brackets. Slide it into place. The countertop's attached. The countertop's in. It's nice and sturdy. With his brackets on, he has plenty of room for his knees. Otherwise, there would be corbels there where he would be hitting his knees on. These are nice, they keep out, they're nice and uh, hidden underneath the counter and they still give you the same support as a corbel. Now we're going to install the T-bar. When possible, we normally put it on the side here and screw it into the side cabinet. But in this situation, we have to put it out here in the center. So we're going to make a template of this T-bar and I'm going to notch this cabinet out so this will slide right in. Now the notch that I'm going to make here, the T-bar, it has to be pretty tight so that the T-bar doesn't have any slop in it. You want it to be able to hit the countertop and actually support the countertop. The lowest part of the notch is going to be an inch from the top of the cabinet. The bar itself is about a quarter inch to five sixteenths th inch thick. There's different ways of cutting this. Once again, I'm going to use a multi-tool. Uh, works pretty good for this situation. After you're done cutting it, you want to check it, make sure it fits, it looks like it fits, and it's pretty flush on top, it's just a little, just a hair above the, the cabinet, that way it'll sit on the counter and it'll show support. At this point, we have the countertop on, we're going to lift it up, and I'm going to slide the counterbalance T-bar in. Okay. Alright. Pretty sturdy, and that's how T-bar is installed.